all right so um this is the second part where we are going to switch to the login screen so i came across to um, you know work out for the colors concerning um the project we're working on so um i took my time to look for the exact color i used for my project so here we are we have the header one color we have the header two color and then the base color right so the header one color is 192 192 255 that is this color so you, you just come to the um be, uh, back background color that is 192 192 then you check this that is 225 right so you come here 192 192 225 and you're gonna get this color or you can just um, copy from here T just type it where you want to you know type it to then you copy you paste and this is the header to color right that is one two eight one two eight two five five right so that is this color so I just have to paste it right here and that is also going to work within um, yeah and then we have the base color the base color is going to be medium blue right not not a blue color but medium blue so I just have to paste it and that is going to take effect so this is going to be the same first color so you just have to copy this and then you paste this right here all right so we have the same thing as we have um as we have here is the same thing we have here right good so this is quite interesting now let's see how we could build our login ui design right okay so for that you just have to click on project Add Windows form and this is going to be FRM login right make sure you selected you make sure you have selected Windows form then you click on add so this ad is going to create a new blank Windows form for you but let's see from this side I want to rename this loading screen so this form one just have to right click and then rename so I'm just gonna call this FRM loading so it's just gonna tell you this just click on yes and that is gonna reflect um, on your project when you go to the property section of the whole system for the FRM loading you could see that we have the text to be form one and now we have the name of the form to be FRM loading good so let's go to the login screen and let's see what we have here for the login screen this is what I did I think um, uh, for the login screen you could you could see that um, when I go to the pictures and I select the login screen you could see that um, I have I have this guy right here and then I have the base colors as well everything the same thing right so first of all let's add our first panel but before let's work on the form so with the form I'll just set the I'll just set um, okay so let's set um, the maximize box and then the minimize box to false good so we have only this the frm login that is the text the label text let's say um, security checkpoint so we have this security checkpoint right here that is awesome now let's set um the window start position to center screen and also let's set a form border style instead of sizable we just choose fix single right okay and what does does is it it will not allow the user to you know resize the form right so we have something like this what I want to do is I just want to copy these two colors copy that come to the login form paste it right here so I already have this guy ready to be go good so we have this right here and now we just um sorry so we have this right here so we just need the blue base color right so based on this we just have to go to the base that is the panel and let's add a panel from this section 
so I add a panel here and I just dock the panel to the parent container and I just check medium blue and I paste it as a back color and there you go I have this nice project let's see what I've done so far from this section you could see that I have this login password and I have this login text right there so to go with that I'll just copy this guy and I'll just paste this guy right here and I'll just reduce the font size of it so I'll just make it 30 good and I'll just write log in okay so based on this login I just need a picture box which is gonna help me to um, add up the image so what I just do is I'll just copy this image then I paste it right here that is going to be my padlock and I'll just resize this a little bit like that and I'll click on this guy change the image so I'll just import a new image and that is going to be my padlock so you definitely have the padlock in within your resource folder that is this so I have this padlock right here as we have here and I have this group box with um, you you know these um, with these uh, uh, um, these these uh, tools right sorry okay so let's add a group box so I add one group box right here and I just resize the group box to be this way and the text on the group box I'll just clear the whole text so I have something like this good and when you take a good look at um, this project you could see that uh, after the login we have two buttons here that is going to be the cancel and then you know the login right okay and from here we have um, two text boxes and all that so let's first work within the text boxes first so I'll add a text box one text box right here and this text box I can decide to choose the font size to be 12 that is cool and I add it up here so I have this but you could see that um, I have this guy right here and that one also it counts a lot so um, to get going with that I just have to um, you know copy this image and paste it one more time and I just said uh, I just squeeze it down bring it up here make sure I have it at the front of um, at the beginning of this and then I set the back color to white that is what I did so from here I have something like this so I just have to change this image uh, by choosing from my resources and that was what that was this person so I just have to choose that person All right, so there you go so I just have to choose that person so um, you can decide to choose within anything you want uh, I would like to you know ch choose this person here and this is it I really love this so um, what I what I, I would do is I'll just copy this paste it one more time the same thing then I draw it back or I just you know take it down like this then I take this up a little bit like that so in this case I'll just have to take this down a little bit then I move this up a little bit like that excellent so I'll just change this to what that is the password so I just have to search for the password and that was the padlock so we could um, decide to use a uh, uh, any of the padlocks you, you think you're gonna use so in my case I'm just gonna use this padlock for now so I have this that is awesome so good now you can see that we have this password and the username here so all I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this paste it one more time and this time I'm just gonna you know set the the font to 12 and I love it so I'm just gonna say um, here and I'm, I'm just gonna change the label on the text to be 
username and I'm just gonna copy this paste it one more time and I'm just gonna add this here and it's going to be the password good so this is quite interesting after that you could see that we have um, this forgot password and then the attempt right here so to get going with this we just need um, a link label a link label right here and this link label um, we will set the font size that is we're gonna use um, Arial and I'll decide to use the Arial bold and I'll use 12 for now and the you could see that the enable color is blue that is the link color that is blue so I'll change it to white good and I'll change the label text on it to um, forgot password right that is it then I would like to choose uh, let's change the size to 10 that is quite interesting so this is it so now you can see that um, when you click on it the active color is going to be red and then the base color is medium blue so this is quite interesting so i just have to copy this guy and paste this right here that will be the attempts so let's see good so we have the attempts here and we have the figure that should be five so let's add this sign right here good and let's paste it one more time we've already copied that so we we will just assign five we will assign a value of five to the attempt and we just add this right here okay so from this section we just have to add um our buttons right so in this case i'm just gonna need a normal button so i'll just add a button here and based on this button um this button is going to be um the cancel so let's say it's going to be the login and this button um i will decide to uh, you know add up some image to this so you could see that uh, from this one I have an image aligned to the left right and that is the login guy so um, I would just say that um, with the image align I'll just say okay let's align it to this side that is middle left and let's see the image we want to choose so with the image I would like to choose um, this person that is good so you see that we have it here so I can then you know shrink it down and I think it is good so with a, with a label of the text with a label that is um, um, the size of the label for the font size of it I'll just choose 12 uh, let's use 11 but rather let's turn bold to true and this is quite interesting so we have this login guy here and I can just um, copy this guy so I copy this then I paste this once again so I put this here so this is gonna be um, the cancel so this icon is gonna be the cancel so that is gonna be this icon right here so I have this cancel as you can see from here that is it so um, what I did was um, I will change the four color to medium blue so just copy first turn it to red and then paste it again as a medium blue and I will set a four color to white good and this is gonna be the same thing so let's change this login to cancel and let's change um, this guy the same thing to uh, medium blue and let's set this for color to white and I think I love this so in this case I believe we've gotten uh, the basic understanding on how 
we managed to create this so we've successfully created our login ui done now let's see what we have here whenever we start this system i would like to okay let's just squeeze it up a little bit then let's okay so this is quite interesting now we have this and then we have this login we have this beautiful um you know login system and i love it i really love it okay so we will end here and on our next lesson we're going to see how we can start the back end of these two sides